When we were working on portraits, we talked about how we could make a person happy or sad or angry by just changing a few lines around the eyes and the mouth, even around the cheeks. We can also make people look younger or older. We can change from male to female depending on hairline and a few other features. So, one of the things you want to do is you want to figure out how to learn to draw different facial features. The mouth is relatively simple. If you're drawing somebody full face portrait as we did just previously, the bottom part of the mouth is like a large flat oval. The upper lip is two small ones and then you connect them with triangles and you have a lip and this is full face looking straight at you if you're looking at somebody from a side view the lips will look like this small tight oval here and an even tinier one on top and if you're looking at what they call a three-quarter view you have the large part of the bottom oval on this side and the larger part of the top oval here and very little on this side and that makes it look like you're looking at an angle as opposed to full face or complete side view the nose is exactly the same if you're looking at a side view of a nose it looks kind of triangular if you're looking at three quarter you can see part of the triangular side but also the top of the nose and that's what happens here so you could draw basically almost a rectangle here with a triangle next to it and that's the basis of a nose a three-quarter view the one we just did we looked full face straight at someone so you see the middle of the nose here with two small parts here for where the nostrils would be eyes are pretty much the same if you're looking at the side view of a person's eye, you're going to get a triangle that's a little rounded here. If you're looking straight at somebody, it's basically a circle, but you only see the middle part of it. If you're looking three-quarter, just as we did with the lips and we did at the nose, you see part of the side and part of the front. This is a side view of an ear, and this is where you look full face. And interim, I didn't draw it here, but three-quarter would be halfway between these two. And this gives you an idea as to features. When you're drawing faces, before you start trying to copy people's portraits, practice a little bit. Use what I've shown you in the previous lesson and this, and do different angles and different faces. I do it all the time. With this one, I was experimenting with a marker and whiteout, and this is what I came up with. It was just fun to kind of fool around with it. This person, I have no idea if she exists, but that's what I drew. Here I decided I'd draw somebody who looks kind of tough. And I gave her a little bonnet on here that looks like Rosie the Riveter. And she's smoking a cigarette. In this case, I was doodling. And this young lady looks like she's looking for somebody or looking out at maybe the moon or whatever. And this is a three-quarter view. You notice that this side of the lip is bigger than this side. This eye is a little bigger than that, and you see more of this side of the nose than you do of the other side, because she's looking in a three-quarter angle view. This is another three-quarter. You notice how much bigger this eye is than this, and this is Lauren Bacall when she was young, when she was actually married to Humphrey Bogart. And so you get the same effect here. Here, this side of the lip is bigger than this side this side. This is Steve McQueen. Again, a bit of a three-quarter, but not as much, so that's why this eye is a little bit bigger, but not that much bigger than that eye. And again, this is kind of a three-quarter view of an ear. This is James Dean, same thing. In this case, you notice more of a sketch This was actually done with pen and marker. So the fine lines you see are a ballpoint pen, and the black you see is with a large marker. Now these are what they call caricatures. If you remember a TV show called The Streets of San Francisco, Michael Douglas was young in that. He was a detective with Carl Malden, his senior partner, and this is Carl Malden. 
What I did is I exaggerated his features a little bit, and that's what you call a caricature. So, for example, when you see caricatures of President Obama, he always made jokes he had elephant ears, so most of the time when they drew a caricature or cartoon, he had giant ears. And if you take a look at any caricature of President Trump, he's usually got a big wave of blonde hair, bigger than the rest of his head. He's got it blowing all over, and so that's a caricature you recognize him because some specific feature. This is actually Richard Chamberlain, and this was when he was in the TV show miniseries called Shogun. 